Welcome to another Spread Cheaters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spread Cheaters website. In this video, we're going to see how to number rows in Google Sheets. Google Sheets has many tools and shortcuts that you can use to make your work easier. Especially when you have a task that is uh, repetitive, it is useful to use these tools so that your work is not only uh, finished quickly, but also it is more accurate. So there are three ways in which you can number rows in Google Sheets. Let's see how to do it. Here I have a table and I want to number the rows, just introduce serial numbers. So the first way is to establish a pattern and then use the fill handle. So I need to type the first two numbers of the sequence, then select the numbers, move the pointer over the corner of the cell uh, till it becomes um, fill handle and then drag it down. And uh, a Google recognizes the pattern and then populates all the cells accordingly. This is one way to do it. I'll delete this so we can look at the other ways. The second is to use the row function. So the row function takes a cell reference as an argument and then returns the number of that, the row number of that cell reference. In this case, since this is actually row number two, I don't want to use the active cell. I will use the row above. So I'll select the cell above A1 and it gives me the first number. Now this I can drag down using the fill handle again and the formulas populated automatically and I get the correct numbers. So this is the second way. Let's delete this and then look at the third way. The third way is to use the sequence function in Google Sheets. This function returns a matrix in which I can specify the number of rows and columns and the values. So let's see how to do this. I'll type sequence and uh, I have to first get the number of rows. In this case, I have 10 rows. Then I have to specify the number of columns. In this case, since I'm numbering the rows, it's and it's only within a single column, I'll say one. Then I need to give the start number, which is also one, and the step or the increment by the value by which the number should be incremented. So that's also one. And close brackets and say enter. So here it's created a matrix and has numbered all the rows. This is a small data set, uh, so all three methods are equally uh, viable. But uh, when you have a very large data set, it may be a good idea to use the sequence function. This is how to number rows in Google Sheets. Please read the appended article for further guidance.